Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Today we're getting into part three of the Frog Choir subquest, where we are now going to study with Rowan. Hopefully we are going to get some advice on how to sing. I've got a stack of books on singing and I'm ready to help you prepare for the Frog Choir auditions in our common room. Wait, didn't Rowan sing in uh, Snape's class once? So he, he's, he's, he's basically an expert. Yeah, didn't he sing the Hogwarts theme? Not theme song, but like... The uh, can't remember what it's called. The motto, whatever it is. You should sing a song about dragons for your edition. No, Charlie. No, you should do that. Just thinking about performing in front of that many people. It's enough to make me feel faint. Well, you stay sat down then. Audition seems like a pain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. You you should see like how how painful it is auditioning for a, a friendship with a toad. That was. Yeah, thanks for agreeing to help me with the frog preparations for the frog choir auditions, Rowan. I'm happy to help you practice. <laughs> what, why did it sound like Hagrid then? I'm, I'm, happy, <laughs> I'm happy to help you practice. I'm happy to help you practice, Shaney. But why come to me? I'm not much of a singer. You're a great at teaching. You're well read. You were a Celestina Warback fan. You're great at teaching. Maybe not. You're great at teaching and helping people learn. Even if you don't know the subject very well. I could still use your support and guidance. Thanks, Shaney. I like to think of it as practice for when I become a professor one day. Oh, that's nice. But you'll never become a professor. It doesn't fit with canon, Rowan. <laughs> it doesn't hurt that you're a good student. And you could still become a professor in another, another school. All right, I'll do it. I hope you study for the Frog Choir editions. I hope you're ready, Shaney, because I'm not going to stop until I've done everything I can to prepare you. It's the type of friendship we're after. Five stars to pass. Three hour class. Okie doke. So, let's study with Rowan. I'm probably going to need 100 energy for this. 60 energy. Oh, I didn't miss that. And lucky Rowan is always willing to help me study. Like, literally always. Who knew being a Celeste in the Warback fan would have come in handy? Who knew? But then, is Rowan too there for us? Like, is he are? Do your books mention how to harmonize with a toad? Uh, Celestina Warbeck recommends these vocal warm ups. Har bar gar lar, car gar, la ba da da ba. How did you know that Celestina Warbeck's mum pushed for a choir at Hogwarts? I did not. I wonder how Rowan's voice sounds. Well, do we already know that, don't we? Dennis is a very good voice for a toad. I just I just can't see how how they sing. I can't hear it in my head. And Lucky Rowan is always willing to help me study. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get getting, to, getting to the same old, same old stuff now. So croak. What what are these warm ups that we're doing? How now, brown cow? Loose lips sink ships. Um, see, she sells seashells. She sells seashells. Uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells she she sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. I think I'm ready. Well, I I've done all about I can. Um, I hope you have helped. I hope I helped you get ready for the frog choir editions. It did, Rowan. Thanks. Now I think about it. Now I think it's about time I talked to someone who experienced singing on the frog choir. Who? Who? Celestina Warbeck. Chester. I'm free now. Want to ask me about those questions about the frog choir over Butterbeer and the three broomsticks? Yes, Chester. Please. Tell me all. Didn't know Chester was in the frog choir. I think I'll ask Phileas if the frog choir can come to sing Christmas carols at the inn this year. That'd be nice. If only people were as easy to win over as toads, eh? Well, I, th I feel like e people are easier to win over than toads. Or at least for Dennis' case. Niffler? What Niffler? I'm definitely not smuggling a Niffler into Hogwarts under my robe. What? <laughs> Who are you? And how can we become friends? You're snuggle, smuggling a rift niffler into Hogwarts. Let's be friends. Oh look, 
Chester's wearing my outfit. <laughs> How awkward. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Chester. I know you must be busy. No problem, Shiny. I deny this, this if anyone asks, but I was honestly looking for an excuse to take a break. <laughs> We're wearing the same outfit. You said you wanted to ask me about the frog choir. Tulip mentioned you were on the frog choir, so I thought I'd ask you for advice on how to prepare for this audition. Frog choir practices are about the only time Chester didn't pester us about how to earn house points. When I was a Ravenclaw prefect, I vowed I'd never turn away someone with that desire to learn. Let's order a round of butterbeers, and I'll tell you about my experiences on the frog choir. I recommend looking for opportunities to practice singing in front of others. Hmm. Why don't you sing for us, Chester? Yeah, Chester, go on, sing. Sing. What was it like being on the frog choir? Was it as amazing as Dennis has told me? Grow. Hmm. Performing in front of a mirror in front of a crowd are totally different. What song did you sing? I sang No Diggity by Blackstreet. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Jody, get down, good lord. What, you were you nervous when you auditioned? You know, would you, you know, your first time? Flitwick has a way of recognising talent in people. Hmm. I think Madame Rosemurta would ever make a chocolate butterbeer. Guys, that's a great idea. Chocolate butterbeer, I mean, it's already very sickly. So, I don't know if it'll work. You have to hear I'm not costing Ravenclaw too many points. Hmm. I recommend looking for opportunities to practice singing in front of others. Okay. La 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 la. Not now. Others. Other others, not me. Sorry. Like he's such an aura wannabe. I mean, like, he just copied my outfit. So you've noticed that nerves are the biggest reason people do poorly on the frog choir audition. That's right. I've seen students who practice for months crumble in front of an audience come audition time. I'd recommend you try get some practical experience before the audition. That's really good advice, Chester. I'll definitely keep it in mind. Then I'll know you'll do great. Do you have any other questions you'd like to ask me? What songs does Flitwick like? Is there more to life than house points? Do you fancy anyone? Hmm. Hmm. kind of want to ask if he fancies him. Do, do you fancy Penny? Do you... Do you fancy anyone? Completely irrelevant. But why would you ask that? I suppose I do have someone, but I'm not ready to confess just yet. Who is it, Chester? That's all I'm going to say. Unless you happen to have a truth serum in your pocket. <laughs> I can't say that I do. And you're just going to have to wait and see be anyone. Wait, you, you, you're saying at some point it's going to happen. Thanks again for your help, Chester. I need to get back to practicing and, and now and I know just the quirky band who can help. <gasps> of course. Good luck, Shani. Let me know how things turn out. Is this... Are we getting back in... The Weird Sisters! It'd be an honour to help your biggest muse. We're holding a practice in the training grounds now. Why don't you join us? I'm coming. Guys, we're back together, the old crew. Hey. Guys, Shiny Hunter, our favourite source of inspiration. We haven't seen you since you helped us school Hogwarts in our rock last, in rock our last concert. Hogwarts, what? Helped us in school Hogwarts in rock at our last concert. I'm, I'm, remind me why I'm favourite source of inspiration for the infamous rock band, the Weird Sisters. You're the infamous curse breaker. Whenever we need to think up new songs, we just imagine your adventures, risking it all to save, solve an ancient mystery, fending off dark forces eager to kill you, questioning your friends' loyalty at every turn. <laughs> Have you seen my art theories? Agonising over what you'll do when you reason, when your reason for living Finding your brother is over. Curse breaking his adventures. That's curse breaking adventures are so cool. <laughs> Sounds like you've got a few fans, Shiny Hunter. How do you feel about us writing songs about you? I love it. I don't care. 
It's kind of uncomfortable. I love it, guys. I think it's awesome. After all, how does anyone get a person? How does a person get a song written about them? You know, exactly. We're immortalizing you in the history of our rock. Of rock, of rock, not our rock. Anyway, I came into practice because I'm auditioning for the Frog Choir. I was hoping you guys could help me practice. You're always putting on shows for Hogwarts, and if anyone can help me get comfortable performing, it's you. You're in luck. We're also just about to start our jam session. Why don't you try singing with us? Then it will help. that will give you a feel for performing. Rope, rope. I like his toe style. He can join us too. I don't usually like sharing the mic, but for you two, I will make an exception. What about Curly? Curly, guy, guys, Curly didn't say anything. Well, I mean, that's in typical Curly fashion. Didn't say anything. Slump your shoulders. There's no good posture in rock. Okay. What else should I do? How can the crowd have fun if you're not having fun? Exactly. That's the spirit. Tulip, you get into it? You should have the Weird Sisters audition with you. Mm. I don't know if Flip would like that. Let the power of rock overcome you. Okay. Can't believe Dennis is croaking along with the song. Hopefully some of Myron's confidence will wear off for me. Curly! Curly's smiling. Is that a good sign? Curly, we've missed you. <laughs> we have missed you. It's hard to shine next to Myron. He's a natural. Let the power of rock overcome you. I'm letting it. It's overcoming me. I can't help but I'm not even like rocking. I'm just da da la la la. I am so I am singing. I'm getting into it. Wow. That was good practice to have. Collect. Success. That was a cool performance, Shiny. We should have you sing instead of, of play bass at our big concert. It was so amazing. Curly's been rendered speechless. I knew you had it in you, Shiny Hunter. Thanks for letting me sing with the Weird Sisters. Did it help you to get more comfortable with your performing? Yeah, but I wish I could have performed in front of a crowd. Sorry, our practices are strictly off limits to civilians. We used to let anyone come, but then Curly that had that unfortunate accident with a fan. Tell me more? He doesn't like to talk about it. <laughs> I understand, but how am I going to get experience singing in front of a crowd? I don't know about a crowd, but if you're looking for an easy way to test your nerve while singing, I have an idea. What is it? I've got a brilliant idea on how you can test your nerve when you while you sing. Meet us in the potion of classroom. Singing in front of night in front of Snape. Is that what we're talking about here? Ooh. Yeah, this this is the ultimate test. Yep. Okay. What are we doing in the potion of classroom? I thought you were going to test my nerve while I sing. And that what better way to do that than by having you perform for the maestro of misery himself, Snape. Snape. But he hates music and anything that brings joy and happiness. Snape is cool. That's what makes him perfectly perfect audience. He's a tough critic. If you can perform for him without losing your cool, you can perform for anyone. That does kind of make sense. Snape already thinks you're odd. What have you got to lose? All right, I'll try it. That's the spirit. Do you know what song you're going to sing to Snape? Try to appeal to his specific tastes. A cauldron full of hot, strong love. In Noctum or do the hippogriff. I'm going to sing a cauldron full of hot love. I'm going to sing Celestina's Warbeck's A Cauldron Full of Hot, Strong Love. Appealing to the potions master in Snape. Eh, smart. Let's see if Snape loves potions and outweighs his hatred for you, shiny hunter. You're ready to sing to Snape. Shiny. Rope. And you too, Dennis. Don't worry, Shiny. If he kills your self confidence, we'll be sure to write a wicked eulogy. Thanks, Orsino. 
Now go pierce Snape's cold heart with the burning passion of your song. I'm ready. Hunter, to what do I owe this displeasure? Here goes nothing. It's an eight hour quest. We'll save that for the morning. Right, it's time to sing a song to Snape. Uh, Celestina Warbeck, a hot, cold, and hot, strong, golden of love. Yeah, I don't have the lyrics, so I'll just make them up. I hope a cold and full of hot, strong love is never enough. It's never enough. Living without you is so tough And I feel rough Without you I feel rough Cause it's a cold and full of hot strong love It's getting hotter All I can think about is you, Lily Potter All I can think about is how you're not here Cause of that thing that Voldemort did When he struck you down with a killing curse But he was the one came off worse. It backfired and the boy survived. Now Voldemort is not really alive. He's just a spirit over possessing Quirrell. He's got no more skills than a little baby squirrel. And therefore, and therefore, so I'll wait till he returns and then I will avenge you. He thinks I'll be on his side and yeah, I will pretend to kill Dumbledore. Cause I really want it But I still don't even set aside I really love the man He's got it all figured out He tries to protect me In defense against the dark arts And things that would get me down Get me down Get me down, 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 down A cauldron full of hot Strong love It's never enough It's never enough It's never enough Oh no, did, did my voice crack? Have you lost your mind, Fanta? If I don't look at Snape in the eye, sing to him isn't as intimidating. I hope Snape doesn't try to send Dennis into potion ingredients for his hot, strong cauldron of love. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think, Snape? I tried to make it personal to you. I don't know if you noticed that. Are you finished? Yes. What did you think? I did just make up on the spot. I'm disappointed. Disappointed in myself over how much I didn't hate that performance. So you like my singing? I wouldn't go that far, but your taste in music is to be mended. Does that mean you like an encore? Leave. Ah. I think, I think that was close to a compliment. You did it, Shiny. You sang in front of Snape. You without freezing up, resting up your lyrics, or ripping a hole in your trousers. What? It happens. If anything, it sort of gave you a compliment. You are so cool. Thanks, Lucina. There's nothing more we can teach you. You're ready to audition for the Frog Choir. Yes! Part three complete. We're auditioning for the Frog Choir in the next chapter. And hopefully, we'll make it. Hopefully, Flitwick will see that hard work has paid off. That's all for this one. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all for me. See you guys soon.